Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so another turbo video today. I'm gonna to be doing one every weekend or maybe during the week just to catch up on some things as well. So there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out on a weekly basis now, which is gonna be really, really good. Lots of content coming out. Um, so last video we did cold side of the intercooler, got all that in. Um, so that's all hooked up, ready to go. Today is probably gonna be the most exciting video out of all of them because today, I'm dropping the turbo in. So today we are going to be doing uh, headers, J-pipe, wastegate, turbo, and then possibly oil feed if I have time. So yeah, let's jump straight in. So I've taken the old extractors out. They're just chilling on the ground there. Um, I'm gonna see if I can actually get the mounting plate modified to fit the FG, um, if that kinks down enough to clear the barrel. But anyways, I got all that out. Um, exhaust is just kind of sitting on the ground at the moment because it hasn't got any headers on it. So I've got the exhaust gasket on there. Um, I'm just gonna put my headers in and then we'll go from there. So we'll do headers first. Um, I might bolt the J-pipe to the headers before I put it in just to make it easier. And then we can drop the turbo on, then fit the wastegate and get all that in. So yeah. So we got J-pipe and the headers here. Um, I'm going to just bolt this onto there. And I gotta grab some bolts out of the, my toolbox in the garage, but we'll fit that onto that. Alrighty guys, so that's all put together. So we got our headers there, j prep there, gasket there. Not gonna do that yet. I've got to get a bolt to fill that in. Um, I'm just gonna go buy one, I measure it out, my verniers, and go buy a thread to just stick in there with a little bit of gasket on it, just so it stays tight because we're not using that O2 sensor port, we're getting an O2 sensor put behind the dump pipe. So yeah. So we got our gasket on there, make sure that's done up nicely and tight. Washer's on there, so it won't come undone. So yeah, we'll um, bolt that all onto the engine now. Alrighty guys, so they're all in. Got all that bolted up onto the engine. So all bolts are done up nice and firm, not too tight. Our connectors are done up tight, so our J-pipe's sitting there. Obviously we're gonna have to get some heat shielding for these, um, but that's, I still got to buy all that stuff. I want to get it all in first so I know what I need to get. Obviously I need to get heat shielding for all these plugs as well and probably chuck a heat shield over those headers there. So um, right now I'm going to jump underneath the car and put on the wastegate and the screamer pipe. So here's our wastegate and here's our screamer pipe. Let's open that bad boy up. Yeah. There's our wastegate. Very nice, Ultragate 38. It's a 38 mil wastegate. Uh, vacuum line stuff, bolts, gaskets, and there's springs, and there's our sleeve that we need to put in. So I'm gonna set this up real quick, and then I'm gonna chuck it on. Alrighty guys, so wastegate is all set up. So they just got our gasket there, so I'm gonna bolt that on, screaming pipes on there. So I'll go get underneath the car and bolt that onto our up pipe. Alrighty guys, I'm currently under the car at the moment, so that's our port there. That's our, what our wastegate's gonna go on, so I just gotta position it in a way that the screamer pipe's gonna fit in, which I'm guessing is going to be the screamer pipe facing out that way. So yeah, I'll mount that on now. Alrighty guys, so that's our wastegate fitted. Screamer pipe hanging down there. Looks good. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so I've got the turbo here now, and that's where we're gonna mount it. So we've got the gasket in the kit with it. So put the gasket on, then we'll mount our turbo onto it. Alrighty guys, so the turbo is in. Um, it's clocked in, into position. So the way I clocked it was I just undid all these bolts, literally just one turn and then just twisted it around to the position I want. I may have to adjust it um, when I put the hot side intercooler piping in, but for now that's in a pretty all right position. So the hot side will come out and over and then run through there and then into the bumper somewhere through this area here. Um, so yeah, looking good. Step back and embrace it. It's looking good. So yeah, I'll um, get and move on to the next part. Alrighty guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm just putting on the bracket for the oil feed. So that's just two of these little gold bolts here and gasket and a little oil feed bit as well. So I'll just put them on and yeah. That's that. So I'll tighten them up 
and then we'll fit our oil feed line and then I don't know if I'll actually do the oil feed today we'll see how I go for time so yeah alrighty guys so I've got the oil feed line on and I've got that running down down there towards the oil pressure sensor and then right now I'm just putting the oil drain fitting on so the, that's the oil drain just there that long pipe down and the gasket that is bolts to the bottom of the turbo so I've got oil feed and oil drain and obviously the rubber tube will go down from that pipe to the sump when I get the sump modified. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so I've got the pod filter on. That's all done up. Got the pod filter on now just to stop any dust getting in there just so I don't really trust the tape as much on that bigger area. The smaller area down where the hot side's going in is got should be alright. Focus. Yeah, down there. And uh, yeah, and I've got obviously got the tape on the back as well. That's where the dump pipe's going. So yeah, looking good. Alrighty guys, so turbo kit is in. Um, it is now a couple of days later because I forgot to film an end screen again. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this end screen um, on the same day that I'm filming the other video. So yeah, um, there'll be a lot of videos coming out soon and I should be having a few more come out around the same time as this. So yeah, I hope you guys like, comment any questions, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.